Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the treats and goodness that I feed these two dogs. And don't worry, Kano is not neglected or anything, he just likes to be outside there, away from all of us, because he's a very independent dog, whereas Shadow is just much more needy. He just needs to be right next to you all the time. Plus, this bed is not going to fit two large dogs and myself, so... These dogs are probably going to leave the scene very soon because they're not very patient with me, especially if I've got food around, which I do. This is my entire big box of treats. I've put everything together that I normally feed these two dogs, and I feel like because I've had Shadow for over three years now, um, I feel like I've got into a place where I know really well um, exactly what treats he likes and what treats I like to give him. I guess I want to make this just first very clear to begin with that he is on a grain-free diet 99.5% of the year he's on a grain-free diet on his birthday he gets a birthday cake which has grains in it and no that's not because he's allergic to grains it's just a choice that I've made so all of the treats that I'll be showing you guys um, are all grain-free they are very very natural and raw if that makes sense so a lot of them are just dried raw meat like I mentioned dried meat is something that I absolutely love giving the dogs as a treat, as a positive affirmation, if they've done something really well. And a game that I really like to play with the dogs is actually hide and seek around the house. They wait by the door where they actually can't see me because it's like a little nook in the house. Um, I tell them to wait there, I go hide, and then I tell them to come find me. Um, and every time they find me, I give them something like this. So I've got so many dried meat here. I've got this brand um, called the New Zealand Pet Food Co. And let me just apologize first that a lot of these treats um, and brands are New Zealand made. I like to support New Zealand businesses, obviously. This is where I live. As much as I can, I will try link every single thing below. Um, and if it's and if you can buy it overseas, I'll try link overseas links below. <laughs> So the New Zealand food pet food company is a really, really cool company. They make these fancy, basically they're just grain-free dried meat. So this is wild goat. Um, so here's the wild goat one. This is the lamb green tripe one. Really fancy packaging and nice little bags, Ziploc bags that you can just close in and out of. So these I absolutely love and they... We love playing hide and seek with these ones. Okay, some of my favorite, favorite dried meat treats are from Superior Farms. So they are, I think, a New Zealand brand or is it Australian? These are waffles, but they're all natural treats. So they're 100% lamb. They're literally just dried lamb meat. Comes in this massive 280 gram packet and I just, I love this. This is so handy. Um, it's so practical and just easy to use. Again, it's another Ziploc type bag. So you take some out, Ziploc it, you know, airtight, and you're basically good to go. So you can see I've got two brand new ones. I, I've been buying these religiously for the past, honestly, like two and a half years now. Um, and I've also got another one because that's how much I bulk buy all of my stuff. I'm a super just efficient bulk buyer. I don't I don't feel the need to like buy one at a time because it's just a waste of shipping is a waste of packaging. So I just bulk buy all my treats and food for the dogs. So I've got three of these. They also absolutely love the lamb waffles. Um, and in these bags here, I buy these from a local pet food accessories company. Um, they're actually shutting down, so I'm not going to mention their name because you can't even get them. But basically, they're just all natural meat again, just different different animals, different parts of the body. These ones looks like chicken, dried chicken bits. <laughs> God, this is such a tease for the dogs. I feel so bad when I do this. This is also another local brand. Um, they make their own like handmade kind of dog treats. These are also 100% natural. This is 100% lung. 
Um, these are a little bit pricey, so I don't think I'll go back to these people. But yeah, again, just more more dried meat. As you can see, I'm a big fan. They are also a big fan of dried meat, so it works both ways. And the last dried meat type thing I want to show you guys um, is from Omega Plus, which is one of my favorite salmon salmon food dog food brands. They do they basically specialize in salmon and oil and all that stuff. Um, for cats and dogs so I'm a massive fan of Omega Plus they're also New Zealand made so these are some king salmon tails like just dried king salmon tails like literally with nothing else added um, and these are some king salmon fins so yeah they absolutely love these and I can go on about the benefits of salmon and oil and, and all that but you know essentially you guys know shadow has hip dysplasia and salmon is a really really good salmon and fish is a really good product for inflammation um you can honestly read up so much about salmon and fish oil i love feeding shadow salmon and fish products because they're really really good for him and these are just so easy for him to just munch on again these are ziploc bags so super handy and practical okay i've got this little not little it's a massive treat and this was also very pricey um this is a veal rib i love just trying out different companies i don't think i've ever tried this from before it's from alpha pet new zealand made in new zealand and australia it says i mean you, you can't get any more natural than this this is just full-on just natural veal rib Um, and I just see them crunching on this. Where are you going? Are you getting mad that I'm not feeding you any of this? Oh, there goes one of our crew members. I just so see them munching on this for like 15 minutes. Actually, Kane, I'll probably take this down in like five minutes because he eats this food really, really fast. So I just want to quickly mention, aside from all this dried meat that I feed them, um, I also like to feed them raw meat as treats. So one of my favorite things to feed them is raw beef bones. I don't have any right now in the house, but you'll see in this clip and many other of my day in the life clips, I always feed them raw beef bones as treats. Come on, Kano. This way. On the grass we go. Sit. Oh, yum. What if I took this away from you? What if I took this away from you? Now what? Good boy, Kano. And what if I took this away from you? Ah, uh, let go. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. If I do feed them that during the day, I'll make sure that for dinner, Shadow gets a little bit less because raw beef bones, you know, there's there's a bit of meat on it. There's obviously a lot of bone. It's a lot of calories already for him. So this is actually another really fun and time consuming way, not time consuming for me, but for them to take their treats. So this is a licky mat, which I only discovered this year, but I absolutely love it and have been using it quite a bit. What it essentially is, is you put whatever you want on the mat, there's grooves in it, um, and it makes it harder for them to lick out the food, it takes more time, and um, it just really kind of tires them out, and it's like an activity for them. So it is also a treat, I would never just give it randomly for no reason, so he would have to do some things, or he would have to find me in some sort of way, and then I'll give them one of these, you put them in the fridge, um, or you don't actually have to, but I like to put mine in the fridge, let it freeze overnight so that it's actually really hard for him to lick out. So what I love to use this with is natural yogurt, um, Greek yogurt I really like, and so peanut butter is a really good one. I bought this mutt butter, which is just for dogs. I don't know if we can actually eat it 
treat for dogs. What's the difference between this and what I could actually eat? I think I can eat this. All the roast on here is dry roasted peanuts, sunflower seeds, and flax seeds. Peanut butter and the licky mat, um, some dried fruit. So you just chuck on like a bunch of stuff on here that sticks and is kind of liquidy that you can freeze overnight. And it takes him ages to lick off. When I mean ages, I mean for him, it probably takes him... 15 minutes so i'm not talking like one hour which i was really hoping for licky mats i do highly recommend i like this and yeah it's a really great way to pass time for the dogs sure about me. <laughs> oh geez, look at you Kane. Almost finished. Okay, so this isn't exactly a treat thing, but this is also super vital to his well-being in his consumption life which is flea and worming tablets or i kind of like to call them treats because to me they look like a treat the one i have been using for his entire life that i've had him is by nexgard spectra I get this online all the time um it is very pricey it's about uh, six fifty five to like 60 new zealand dollars for three packs um i always buy the three pack one because it's cheaper than buying just singular ones and of course this is one for the larger breed which is 30 to 60 kgs this um combats worm and fleas so it actually says kills fleas ticks roundworms hookworms and whipworms holy crap that's a lot of worms um i didn't even know dogs could get all that but I just know that this combats all of that and I give him one of these a month. He has started to not really like them. I think he's starting to realise that it's actually a, some form of medication. But at the very beginning of his life, he ate them like it was lollies. But now he's kind of just like, actually, there's all of this other stuff that is way better that I know you have. So I don't know why I'm eating this. But yes, I still give him one of these a month. Okay, so just like super, super quickly, I want to mention two treat items that we have in the house that I don't like to give the dogs and I just I'm I don't know I'm I'm pretty against because they're not they're not exactly grain free I guess um but we just have these I am in no way shape or form trying to backlash this company or saying that they you know that this company is just no good I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying the ingredients in these treats I just don't stand for so I don't like to feed them this um but someone else has bought them over so this one is chicken biscuits um it says it's made with real chicken, but the biscuit is definitely not grain free. And this one is salmon sticks. It just looks super fake. Um, you know what I mean? Like you can just tell when you open a bag of dog treats, which ones are natural because they're like probably the ugliest ones and they stink the most. Whereas the ones with like additives and preservatives and grain stuff, they look really fancy and nice and they look really nice to look at, but they're probably not that good for your body. So I just wanted to quickly mention that because that is basically probably the end of my video. As you can see, I love feeding them just dried natural meat. I have an assortment of dried natural meat for them. <laughs> I like to keep their treat category very minimal um, and it's super simple. I mean, I've really just got raw meat, I've got dried meat and I've got yogurt and peanut butter you know so that's really all it, all it is i feel like the simpler the simpler and more basic the food that you feed the dogs are it's just easier for your life um it's just easier for them and it just they, they love all of this stuff and i know they like it so yeah that is um that is really all and like i said i will try to link everything below in my description if i can find these online and i apologize if you guys live in america or canada or just you know somewhere overseas that you can't actually really get these new zealand treats but i am pretty sure that you uh that you'll be able to find something very similar i'm sure your country has just natural dried meat treats for dogs that have no preservatives no additives and that don't look fake <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope it was informative and i will see you in my next one bye